guys welcome to another video for the engineer and today i am going to discuss uh, some more information on particularly there are some of the important things that people have asked me during the you know the youtube comments so the first point is people what people ask me on the mm -hmm. salaries and the companies they should look out for the basis related and hana related jobs point number 2 that i got the information that lot of people are not sure on the migration topic that i'm going to cover so both the things i'll discuss and also some of the random topics i'm going to discuss today so if you i mean i hope it will be helpful to all of you so the very first thing is your salary and what are the companies you should target for at this moment who are recently hiring okay so let me take some of the names we can just note it down and those are the companies as per my uh, analysis those are the one of the good companies at this moment and who are hiring in a bulk so the very first thing is you can always look for the opportunities or the companies where actually you will get the right skills in the sense you can utilize your proper utilize your skills in the company where you actually working suppose you are working in oracle that is of no use at this moment to be honest you are an oracle expert it's okay but with hana without hana it's difficult to survive in future so that's the reason you should look out for the companies who are offering you the cloud related products like your migration or you know or something that is related to your uh you can say multiple database like your hana particularly and who has multiple projects on cybase along with that people who have been to the latest as for hana even not latest is fine but as for hana and fury should be there okay along with that you should have an experience on the btp side see btp is something which is very critical because you will not get the test server even you get the 30 days trial right that is not going to help you much on the integration side so that's the reason if you are working somewhere where you get the exposure to the btp projects and you are working on the integration areas so it's an added advantage for you it will be really helping you to understand and excel so to if you consider all this company right so at this moment if you see uh if you just want to go to office and work you can just go to protera protera is a very nice company that is based out of mumbai and they have a lot of good work at this moment along with that you can also explore uh, there was another company uh, in hyderabad so you know that is cloud 4c so i know a lot of people have issues with the cloud 4c lot of people have challenges i know your your past experience is not so good even but it's a challenging environment you will get a lot of exposure don't join in the support environment join in the implementation of the project side so that will help you a lot to understand what are the skill set they require and that will and with the challenges they were getting in the cloud 4c you are going to excel for sure because they have a lot of projects but in terms of the quality resources they are still struggling to get the right resources the point number 3 which i will say that on the aspect of the technical related things uh, you know like there was another company based out of pune automate automatic or automate something like that that you need to check out also you have infrabit infrabit is a good company but they have also on the hack related projects so don't join in the support environment you are switching for the project so these are some of the companies and the companies you should not join if you want to excel so i should say that you know some of the organizations uh, it's not good to take the name of the organization that's why i'm just skipping this part and in the msc if you want the right career if you want to just settle down for less go for ibm go for uh, tcs go for you know like infosys because these companies will pay you good okay in the sense they will pay you 2x or 3x okay they will give you the suppose you are 3 years of experience you will get 8 to 9 lakhs but in terms of the quality of work you are not going to get it because they are already having 100 of people sitting in the project they will be waiting for your update and they will be giving very very small very small task and the major object major projects and all because that's the way to create the visibility right so if you are in the project nobody will give you the visibility for no reason so the seniors of course they are there 10 people are there suppose you got a refresh so of course they are going to do the refresh they are not going to give you the refresh independently because that will create a visibility for you so those are the things you need to consider and also i will share some of the company list i am not getting at this moment so yeah i think 
Hey, many of you have heard about the lemon grass. So that is a good company, guys, because I didn't have a good experience with lemon grass because uh, during the interview process itself. But you can also consider lemon grass as an option because they are giving a full time work from home. Okay, but the only thing is you will not get the chance to go to office. You don't have any physical office in India. And also, if you are in somewhere, you are in outside India, or you are exploring the opportunities in outside India, that is also possible. But my suggestion is at this moment, if you are somebody who is looking out the opportunity in Canada or in the US or in Germany or across Europe, any any country in Europe, so I suggest don't go there because especially Europe. Don't go to Europe at this moment. The reason is, the market opportunity is not enough to meet their demand. So forget about the hiring the external people. Though we have the skill set, but the kind of inflation we have, the kind of salary structure they are offering is not, you know, like remarkable at this moment. And US, you know, right? The visa policies and all H one B and other things. We have all the restrictions, so you can try an option, but. If you ask me, I want to earn as much as possible in India because in India you have multiple opportunities. You can start something of your own. You can start corporate training. You can start independent consulting. You can start some of the small companies who do the freelancing and other things. So the plethora of opportunities in India. But if you are going for outside India, everything you have to do and you have to just rely on your job. I know in US it will be a very hefty salary. You are getting two crores, three crores. Even at some time you will earn five to six crores. It's fine, but in India also you have the potential. If not five crores, at least you can earn and one CR easily. So it depends on the how much effort you are putting and what is your proper planning. So if you are somebody who is interested in abroad, then I will make a different video on that. How to identify the opportunities in abroad and what are the companies that is to look out for the abroad opportunities and which will be they will be sponsoring a visa. They will be giving you the allowances. And you will be running as a full-time employee with the proper work-life balance. Okay, so those are some of the important things. So now coming back to your, you know, like, uh, so this is something that people have asked me on the companies and all. And if you want me to create a list, then I'll just try at the end of this month to create a list of the companies. I'll share it. Uh, in terms of a video, I will be sharing the company and the salary structure and all things. I'll just try to keep it short as much as possible. And if you want more information, Glassdoor is fine. And also, you can. Uh, I think there is another. Uh, you know, like is there? I don't. For, I don't remember the name. I think some review or Ambition Box. Yes, Ambition Box and your Glassdoor both are there. You just need to use those platform. But the salary figures are not accurate because I have seen in many instances the basic salary they mentioned the average salary for uh, five to seven years is eight to ten lakhs, which is ridiculous. In India, if you have five years experience, at least you are getting twelve lakhs, thirteen lakhs. You are, of course, you are not getting seven to eight lakhs. So that is a different story. So now coming back to your migration training, okay? So in my migration tra training, what are the things I'm going to cover? So the very first thing is your database aspect. All the database structural overview you will be getting. Point number two, you will be getting the database related. Like first, we are going to discuss on the cross database in the sense. Suppose you are running on DB2, you want to switch to some other migration, some other database. From Max D, from DB2, you want to go to Max DB, or some you know Oracle to DB2, Oracle to Sybase. So there are multiple scenarios we have. So we are going to cover all the things: Oracle to Sybase, Oracle to DB2, DB2 to Max DB. Okay, and also MS SQL we are not going to cover. So Oracle, DB2, Max DB, and Sybase. And also your HANA. Okay, so this is these three are called your cross database, and others are like you know others are like you are migrating the uh, Oracle to HANA, or you are migrating your uh, you can say uh, DB2 to HANA database, and also you are migrating your Sybase, uh, you know like from Sybase to any other database. So all this aspect will be covered. It's just not a homogeneous copy, guys. I know what is homogeneous copy. I'm not. A fresher that who doesn't know the meaning of homogeneous copy. Some people have put a comment on this, so it's ridiculous to know this kind of thing that I'm selling out a migration training and I'm people are expecting that okay I'm just teaching the homogeneous system copy. Okay, we are not just doing the homogeneous system copy. It is a heterogeneous system copy. It will be a cross database. It will be a database migration. Yes, OS migration will not be there. The reason is all my systems are on Linux based platform. 
I am using currently Suzy SP, you know, SLS 15 SP4 that I am using right now. So all my platforms are on the Linux. So that's the reason we are not going to have the cross platform like your cross OS, like from one OS to another OS. But here the strategy would be how to do the database migration in the sense. Suppose you want to run the Oracle to DB2 or you want to go for Oracle to HANA. So how to do the table splitting, how to do the, uh, you know, like export preparation and how to do. So all the aspect of the migration will be covered here. And then last but not least, the DMO functionalities will be also discussed here. So how to how you can use the DMO features of your SAP migration and what is and all the basic architecture like basic vocabularies in the sense R3 load, R3 trans, how to you know, like make more migration monitoring. So there are multiple tools which are there, you know, and what are the files relevant to the migration, how to do the downtime optimization. Suppose I'll ask you a question, how you can mitigate the downtime, you know, longer downtime. So what are the strategy you need to adopt in order to make the you know make the migration successful? Because during the migration process, you are when you are taking the export, your source system will be also down. Okay, so when you are taking your migration export and your source system is down, so you can't just have a longer downtime for the source system. Source is generally your production system. So it's a challenging situation. So we are going to dis uh, discuss. Other databases also from non HANA to HANA databases and also we are going to discuss on the DMO feature. We are not going to discuss ECC to S4 HANA conversion that will not be covered in this topic. Okay, so that is I think it is clear for everyone. And if you still have any questions, you can reach out to me and the cost of the migration training cannot be negotiated under any circumstances. I don't force anyone to join. So it's up to your choice guys, but if you are looking for the right skills and the right quality of knowledge with the proper hands-on and also with the proper migration approach where actually whatever you learn here, just learn it, use it in your real environment. And I'm sure you will be somebody who can do the migration without any support. And the next thing is your the mi migration training what I charge. And you have no idea how much salary you are going to get in return. So it's fine. So it's your choice. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. So these are the some of the important things I want to discuss today. And other than that, anybody like I'm also having multiple trainings this year. So I think I got very less number of response on the HANA cluster setup. Okay. So HANA cluster setup that on the CG Linux. This is for the pacemaker setup on the HANA database for the high availability. If anybody is interested for the high availability in HANA, how to set up the pacemaker cluster, how to set up the cluster, how to set up the pacemaker in your HANA for the auto failover or you know auto takeover option. So those things you are going to learn in this, uh, you know, this session. So if I offer this to these things on the one to one session as well and as a training batch as well. So if you guys are interested, please reach out to my team. They will be sharing the information to you on the cluster setup in Linux, both in Red Hat and also Suzy, also in scale out and scale up, both will be covered in this situation. And that it will be a very insightful session for all of you. And I remember, I repeat guys, this, these are the topics which I'm discussing. You will never get a chance to learn if you don't learn now. Okay, so get the best use of it. And if you're interested, spend some time, spend some amount and learn the things properly. And if anything you need, I'm there to help you out. So that is all for today guys and I hope this is a very long video almost 15 minutes and in case you are looking for any training for basis HANA migration max DB cluster setup you can reach out to my team and also if you want to look you want to buy some documents and the recordings on memory management recordings on SAP monitoring recordings on your upgrades DB2 upgrade Oracle upgrade and anything so you can just reach out to my team and you can also purchase the documents and also purchase the recordings from ODI general learning platform. So that is all for today. I think on if you need any further information, you can reach out to my team. So thank you guys, have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe my channel as well because I really, we are almost a family of 3,100 subscribers. So let's take it to another level and do subscribe. And if you have any people who is working in SAP domain, you can also share those videos and share my channel with them and ask them to subscribe as well. And don't forget to follow me in Instagram, ODI Engineer underscore YT and also in our don't for don't forget to follow our LinkedIn page as well. So thank you. Have a great